Hello MacWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MacWarrior Online. Today we are playing the Sun Spider um, and today we build something with different Omnipods here. So this is uh, this is uh, Franken Mac if you want to say so. So what are we doing today? We are running ATMs because ATMs are strong. We have a decent speed on our Sun Spider, 81 kph makes it so that we can position ourselves pretty much freely and we have access to ECM. So High hard points combined with speed, combined with ECM, combined with uh, ATMs, combined with medium pulse lasers as backup weapons. It's just so good, guys. I love that burst. <laughs> you will see that in the games. It's so damn fun to play. As you can see, uh, three double heat sinks to manage the heat. And then we've got the rest of the tonnage used for ammo. That's it. Very straightforward. ATM 27. We can fire all of the ATM 9s together and uh, we don't run into ghost heat. And then the medium pulse for backup. As you can see, the build is uh, very far away from being mastered. Oh, actually, it's, it's halfway mastered here. So I have invested into the left side of the firepower tree, obviously. I wanted cooldown, I wanted the missile nodes, and I wanted heat gen. Um, range is nice to have, but, you know, it's 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 this what I wanted. I think I'm going to go for a little bit more range in the, in the future when I master that mech. Survivability is nice to have, I have to say, but in with this loadout, you really want to be in, in second line. You really want to use uh, your ECM. If you're getting engaged, try to fall back, try to hide, try to um, just break the locks and, and you know, you're just invisible. Try, try not to engage directly. Therefore, survivability is a nice to have, but you can actually skip that here. Mobility, blah, also a nice to have. Again, you already run relatively fast and you don't need upper torso mobility to twist a lot. This is just a lock-on mech that just try, tries to trace the target and therefore you don't need that either. Operations? Yes, why not? Um, getting some, some better heat management going is, is a good idea, so I think this is the, the next thing that I'm gonna unlock here. Um, but ECM is so important here, so I'm going for both the ECM nodes and target decay, because that makes it so that you can keep the lock longer even if your enemy is in cover already. So having target decay in an ATM build is, is really nice to have, therefore I'll take the three nodes that are very easy to access on, on the side here. Having one consumable slot that I forgot to fill, yeah, we have a cool shot and then on top of it I would probably go for a UAV because uh, getting getting locks when you are uh, behind cover is a good idea so that you can get locks. Quickly drop out of cover, deliver the damage and then get back to cover and the UAV really helps here and apart from that again the cool shot to keep the mech cold. That's the build so far I have to say, so far, not mastered yet, but I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have as much fun watching as I had playing that, then please don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alright, first game of the day. We are playing the HPG Manifold and we are playing Domination. So what we want to do is we want to go to the circle and, and, and help out our teammates with our uh, AMS, not AMS, ECM. And, you know, we're going to try to get into optimal range to shoot our ATMs. That's the plan here. Got a Mistlings on top. We got a Huntsman there. You know what? I'm going to give him some missiles here just to say hello. And uh, actually they hit. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty surprised by that. But you know what? Sometimes you got to take a shot and it hits. Uh, it seems that my team... Oh, wait. I wanted to say that they are what, they are going to the top there. But the top is hot. On, honestly, I don't want to be there either. So the mech here is um, is rather sneaky. So we want to... We want to go into into flanking situations in in mid to close range. We want to be in second line. There's a piranha coming in. There is a Kodiak. Let's go for the Kodiak. Here we go. I'm getting shot a lot. Yeah, that's the thing. The mech is relatively big. Can we? Okay, no. And yeah, juggling juggling the distance uh, between your enemies and uh, not exposing yourself too much or using your ECM and trying to hide underneath the the sensor cover is uh, is is the tricky part of this build here. Or the, the mech, Target the challenging part. Okay, we got some damage to the Thunderbolt, but I couldn't really get into my optimal range of about 120 to 280 meters. Let's see. Yeah, some damage, but it's not really good. Thunderbolt there, though. Great, great target, because he is in a good range. Let's try to get another lock without being exposed here. There he is. Here's the Kodiak. Acquired. We can fire Dumpfire. Um, I was hoping that he was only peeking and then and then getting back, but actually he pushed through Acquired. and that made it so that he dodged the missiles. Okay, that is great. Sun Spider. Side also open, as you can see. Here's the Kodiak Target. again. Let's Acquired. wait for him. Yeah, there he comes. Hi. Alright, that's great. It's again good, good damage here on that range. 
He's the Kodiak still. He wants me. But I am ready. Hey, dude. How does it feel? You are cored now. What do you think? Is that a good matchup for you? I don't think so, man. But I need to I need to drop soon. Sun spider there. Gonna go for the gonna gonna go for the cool shot here directly. And I want that sun spider dead. Okay, never mind. So let's left, let's go to the left side and drop here. We are getting pressured a lot. Really, really hard there. Arctic Wolf. It's dead. No, not dead. Oh, it, it is dead. Never mind. It is dead. This is just ATMs are so scary against lights and mediums. Okay, target destroyed, target destroyed. That sounds great. It's just kills left and right. <laughs> I like the, the ER large sound here. The new Warhorn. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, that guy's dead. Uh, this is next up. Yep. Gauss rifle, hunchback. But he is caught already. We're gonna go for another ATM strike here. Should kill him. Not quite, but almost. It's a one shot. Okay, I shouldn't have taken that. Not, not, not with my full volley because of the heat and of course he was super, super caught already. Okay, let's try. That, that thing is down. Let's go for the next one. And I think we got it. Another kill. What? Here's the last one. Let's go for it. Maybe we can get it as well. And there we go. It is... It was toasty here. Yeah? I was stretching my mech to the limits here. <laughs> Overstepping some boundaries in terms of heat management. But in the end, it worked out. And yeah, as you can see, again, ATMs on the very high mounted platform with ECM and mobility. It's just so, so good. I love that. We got four killing blows. We got six assists, five KMDD, 1,272 damage with 10 uh, components destroyed. That's the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing the Viridian Borg and we have a light mech coming in. Oh yeah, come over here, man. He's probably trying to, to backstab us. Therefore, I'm gonna directly engage him or at least try. And I just realized that I forgot my, my UAV. Damn it, I needed that. And there he is, okay, Fox 6. Um, I'm gonna wait, wait, he's getting tagged. I'm gonna wait until we know where he actually is. Yeah, there, it's Jenna. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. Uh, at least I try. Okay, cannot get a lock on the Gemini, but on this guy there, the Hunchback. We're gonna go for him. Uh, he is not in optimal range, but I, I don't, don't like dare going any bread. further there. Acquire. Good thing is that the Sun Spider doesn't see me. Oh, now he does. And you can see here that um, the target decay is coming in very handy. Uh, we have some enemies in Fox 6. Are they pushing? Yeah, they are. Acquire. Oh, come over here, man. I suggest you kill them. Okay. Yeah, we, we go for the Jenna here, because I think he is the, he is the squishier and easier target. However, his mobility will help him out a lot now. Okay, never mind. I should have seen that coming. Can we arc around here? No, we cannot. He's running Ultra 5s. Oh yeah, show yourself. Ooh, perfect cooldown. Can we kill the Sun Spider Fox Drop, please? The good thing is that um, the Viridian Borg here, of course, it helps with, uh, with vision. Our ECM plus the, the nature of the Borg being a very, very difficult map to, to see here, um, it, it really, really helps. So we, we got a big advantage running ECM on that map. So our left Thank side is going to be clear. Um, right. We're going to go into the back of the Annihilator. Maybe, maybe like that. He's probably not able to turn around. No, he doesn't even care. Oh man. Oh man. Get wrecked. Yeah, he's dead. Um, okay, I'll take it. This is a problem here. Uh, not anymore because the Osiris decided to go. I was hoping he had, that he would come over here. <laughs> but yeah. Oh man, that game escalates really hard. Hi. Please don't push any further. I mean, he wants to be in mid-range as well because he's running LRMs. But mm -mm, not, not like this, dude. I want to pin him down. And one more. He's down. No? Okay, one more. Again, stretching the heat limits. But I want that kill. <laughs> okay, so we got a Warhammer there. I want to help. Let's make sure that we not kill ourselves. Yeah, I think I'm going to cool down. <laughs> that was crazy. That escalated really hard. But you know what? I'll take it. See, uh, especially again in the Borg, when you are running with ECM and the enemy has a tough time targeting, uh, targeting you with uh, their eyes. 
you will have a good time on the battlefield. Okay, there is the Warhammer and then the Jenna somewhere down here. Where did the Jenna go? We have still a Jenna on Fox 5 area. Fox 5, Echo 5, last scene. Um, I guess he's... Yeah, he's over there. Echo 7, guys. Echo 7. Jenna trying to backstab Echo us. Echo 6. Yep. Okay, <laughs> let's try to find him. Man, I love ATMs, guys. And again, this is such a great weapon platform for ATMs. Because you are mobile, you have high mounts, you have ECM, you just stick to the team and destroy everybody. <laughs> or in the case um, like, like, like this here, you, you just go into the backs of Annihilators and destroy them. Anyway, we got four killing blows, we had three assists, four kill most damage dealt, 958 damage again, and uh, nine components destroyed. I love the build, guys. I'm a big fan of that. And if you liked the video, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me and the channel, then go down below to the description. There is a link to my Patreon page. You can get some nice rewards like postcards, for example. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.